Okay, boys, I have built the team, okay? I spent about half an hour building this, okay? It took me a little while. It probably shouldn't have took me that long, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome of this team. So strap yourself in, boys. I hope you're ready. Here we go. Let's show you, boys, the team that we have built. Stay or go? He has to go, blood. He has to go, blood. And, and who would you bring in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This kid is nasty and I fucking like it. Are you taking the fucking piss? Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? Shocking, dreadful, no quality. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need. You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. And if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. Alright boys and girls, today is going to be a very cheeky day, okay? We are back with another episode of the RTG boys, and I'm very, very excited for today. Reason being, lads, we've made a couple of very juicy upgrades to my team, boys. I'm very, very happy, and I, I can't wait to show you guys. In fact, we're not going to waste any time, boys. I'm going to show you guys right now the changes we've made. You guys will obviously notice that we've got Yeri Mina, hence, you know, the, the video title and stuff, but we've also made a couple of other changes, boys. We've got Alvarez from Season Progress, boys, and he looks absolutely incredible, okay? Especially for a CDM. He, I mean, he's got some really, really good stats here. He's medium high work rate to start things off which is obviously good for the cdm spot he's got 88 pace he's got perfect defending pretty much really good physical there so a really good card to use here boys obviously we got him linked up with taglafico who's not the best and if i can eventually afford the team of season that would be great although by the time i probably can afford the team of season i'm not sure i'll be still using alvarez and we also picked up this nandez card boys now a lot of you guys in the comments were saying how good this card was i actually had like a good number of you guys saying michel you've got to try nandez he's super cheap and just an absolute baller so obviously i took a look at him to see what he was like and i saw him for like 50k and I was like what the fuck you know this card is way too good for that price it's fantastic yeah boys I think that's pretty much it I think that's all the changes we've made let's just have a quick deep dive into the in-games of Yeri Mina boys because I think this card boys could potentially be one of if not the best center back in FIFA and somehow he's free he's six at five lads so you know he's definitely a big guy he's got medium medium work rate so would have preferred medium high but that's okay 91 pace which of course is ridiculous I, I don't even know what what was the like most recent Yeri Mina card it was definitely no way near that kind of pace. Let me take a look. Yeah, 56. Yeah, he's got no fucking right to have 91 pace. That is ludicrous. And he's also got really good agility, boys. Again, considering he's six foot five and you know he's pretty not known for his agility, he have gone above and beyond with that agility there with 84, which is really nice. Defensively, is damn near perfect. You literally can't really pick a flaw in that. And then physically as well, is pretty much perfect. Like honestly, boys, it, it is a perfect centre back, really. Like he genuinely is good. The only thing that's not so great about him is he's not the most linkable. I could link him up with Alan, but I just couldn't quite get it to work and obviously I wanted to use Alvarez and a culture and stuff so it just didn't quite work out but maybe eventually we can we can get them on full chemistry but for now boys we're just knocking on eight it's not the end of the world also the last change we made boys and girls we did get this honey money you're probably wondering Michelle, why the fuck do you have this card I decided to do an 85 to 90 team a season pack thinking that I might get something at least somewhat usable and uh yeah we certainly did not get that honeymoon is pretty terrible and it couldn't really have gotten much worse I do regret doing that it's the biggest piece of dog shit never gonna fucking forgive him so yeah, boys, I'm excited to jump into a bit of gameplay with this team. It's looking fresh, it's looking sexy, so I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. So anyway, boys, we jump into game number one. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Lads, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. A minute in and we've... Uh, it is Team New Ronaldo. I don't know how I'm playing him in, like, Div 4, but hey. But that was the worst start we could have... Why is it whenever I try and highlight a, good, a defender, it goes badly? Anyway, we're not off to a good start here, boys. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Come on, Gozens. You're beast. you absolute beast. Who's in there? What a pass! Larson, what the fuck, man? That's a Kocha. Lovely play! That's a great goal, boys! Beautiful! Please win that. You've missed the fucking ball one, eh, Zeus, you mong! For fuck's sake, boys. 
I just love, I just love that I pick up a new defender, I get a new CDM, and this is the worst I've defended in the RTG so far, boys. It's just ironic. It always is. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of suffering. Play, play. Lovely ball. Come on, Gozen's back in it, lad. Get, no, no, go the other way. Get the ball. Nice pass. Oh, look at Nandez. Give it over to him. This is beautiful. What a pass! Uh, what's going on? I just burped! Win it! Shoot! Oh, how has he saved that? Okay, back two. Good shit, good shit. Gozen's make me that run, lad. Oh, that's good from Muriel. Good pass as well. Play Larson. Come on! That's a great goal, boys. That was so nicely worked. That was a perfect goal. Hey, glad! As soon as I get back in it, I fucking concede. Hey, Kocha. Nice pass. Back two. Good shit here, boys. Beautiful play. Come on! Great goal again from Gozens. Gozens' runs are so good. I love him. Absolutely. This has honestly been the worst I've defended on the RTG so far. I just hate the fact that it had to be today when I actually pick up new defenders. I think it's funny. Nice play through. Horrible pass. Muriel has just absolutely bullied that poor lad. And he's missed it. What a pass. Back to... Yep. Yeah. What a back hill that is! No! Oh, that was so good. I do not deserve to lose this game, boys. Everyone in the box. Oh, I cannot believe I've lost. I genuinely, I genuinely, am, I'm pissed. I do not deserve to lose to that guy. So yeah, boys, uh, we're not off to a fantastic start with our new defense, are we? I mean, it could have certainly gone a little bit better. With that being said, though, boys, I wasn't exactly an easy test, okay? We were up against Team Nia fucking Ronaldo, Maradona, Messi. Like, we played a pretty ridiculous team. So I will give Mina the benefit of the doubt, boys. It's not like he did anything, like, in particular that pissed me off. We just obviously conceded a lot of goals, so I'm not going to hold him at blame for that. Well, attackingly, though... Attackingly, we, we're still playing really well. Okay, Kocha had a great performance. Gozens was incredible from centre mid. So it's good to see that the attack is still performing on all, on all cylinders. But defensively, we need to get our act together. Because in the last few episodes, we actually defended pretty good. I need to get back to that. I need to get back to those episodes where I was defending well. So anyway, boys, we jump into another game. Fingers crossed we pick up a dub this time. And we play a little bit better defensively. So boys, we jump into game number two. No, 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 come on. That's nice offside, surely. Oh, why can't I defend anymore? Do you remember when I had two episodes of the RTG that I really enjoyed? And then we get to episode three and I'm already hating the game again. Back, yep. That's beautiful. Hit it on the volley, Larson. Oh, well, I want to die. I, somebody kill me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Akotcha, I actually love you. If you ever want to have children with me, just let me know, hit me up. That is goat-like behavior. So, lads, lads, can I just, can we just stop this? Like, uh, it's, a, it's a funny April Fool's joke, a little bit late, but like, can we defend good now, alright? Uh, stop pissing around. Ah, oh, shit. No, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna- I'm this close to flipping because I- I can't- Play, play. What a pass that is. What a fin- I, I honestly, Akocha is just the, the only person who even keeps me slightly sane right now. He is so fucking good, boys. Nandez, come on. Keep running, Larson. Lovely pass, good wait. Play it back. Nandez! Yes, boys! Come on! Nice. Muriel, a little more. For fuck's sake, Mr. Bull, I've still got it though. Nice, Larson. Come on, Nandez. Come on, anybody. You're having a laugh. You're having a fucking laugh. Give me some of the pain and let me die. Oh my god, Gozens, you're an actual legend. You're an actual legend. Oh! Hold the ball, isn't he? The little sad prick. He's literally just gonna hold the ball. He's not gonna take any risks. He's just gonna hold on to it. 
Yes, he's offside. Right, little. Th no, don't fucking pause it, you whore! One minute, boys. One minute to get the equalizer. And I fucked it, haven't I? I've thrown it. I've thrown my chance. I hate this game. It's just pain. This game is just, like, it's just pain right now. Like, I, I upgrade my team and I play worse. So yeah, boys and girls, uh, this isn't going well. This is this was meant for me to, you know, show you guys how sick these new defenders are. You know, we got Alvarez, who's, you know, meant to be fucking good. He's meant to be good. Uh, we got Mina, who looks like he could be the best in the back in the game. And uh, it's just not going well, boys. It's not going. Defensively, it's just been an absolute shambles. Albeit, the opponents I'm playing obviously are a lot better in, in, in today's episode than they were in the previous episodes. But nonetheless, like, we're just, def we're not defending well enough, boys. We are not defending well enough. On the other hand, our attack is playing as good as ever. Cotch. It's because he's just a beautiful man. So, uh, yeah, boys, I'm going to jump into one more game, and then fingers crossed uh, that the defense does an actual good job this time, and we can show it off, it, hopefully, to its full potential. So, boys, we're jumping into game number three. What a pass that is. That is a brilliant goal, boys. That pass from Larson was exquisite. Load of space there for Mina to get into. That is such a good set piece, boys. And Mina, the powerhouse that he is, bullet headers that into the net. That is a beautiful goal. Fearless, dangerous. What the fuck? What the fuck? That save! Let's go! Look at Larson. That is so good from a culture. Oh, fuck off. I'm actually annoyed I didn't score that. I should have chipped him. Good pass from. Hotcha. Back two, back two. Please be onside. That's such a good goal, lads. I'm, oh, and he's quitting. What a, what a way to top off the epi because it was going bad up until that point. So let's go, boys. That's big. Yeah, lads, that was a much better performance from the boys, okay? We played a lot better. Obviously, we didn't concede a goal, which was nice. We got to do a clean sheet dance, which we always love to see. But what I did find out from this game in particular, lads, is that Mina is an absolute beast in the box, okay? Especially for corners, okay? If I ever get a corner, I'm whipping it near post to Yeri Mina because he's just going to get his head on it, okay? Six foot five, he's going to beat everyone in the air, and he's just a beast at that. Obviously, though, he's not here for goals. He's here for defending, and throughout this episode, I didn't really see him do it too much, if I'm being honest with you. I didn't see him do anything terrible, but, you know, he he definitely could have done better and we definitely should have conceded less goals. But if you guys know anything about this channel, you'll pretty much know that if whenever I do a defensive review, they're always terrible on the fucking day and then later on I end up loving them. You know? Let's take like Boateng for example, hated Boateng in the review, uh, you know, he's pretty my favourite defender in the entire game ever. He could be the best centre back in the game, but we we'll have to find out boys. But yeah boys, I'm enjoying this team, okay, I'm enjoying the RTG so far, I'm having an absolute blast with this, okay, it's, it's just a lot of fun to, to build up from the beginning again, you know. As for the next episode boys, not entirely sure what we're gonna do i've got a few ideas but we'll have to wait and see you know it depends on like how much money i can earn and stuff like that but hopefully if things go well you should enjoy the next episode quite a bit but anyway boys i'm gonna call it there i hope you did enjoy if it is smash that subscribe and i'll see you guys next one all right peace <laughs>